Let's go. Uh, 2000, uh, 2018, uh, task 18, uh, it's cool link. I would certainly keep it here somewhere. Hope I won't lost it. I won't lost it. Okay. Um, let's go back to 2018. The 18 uh, bit set. I don't know. We don't know if it is. On the outskirts of the North Pole base construction project, many elves are collecting lumber. The lumber collection area is 50 acres by 50 acres. It's chunk of the ice open ground, trees, and lumber. Okay, so it's something about maps again. You take a scan of the area, you puzzle input. Strange magic is at work here. Each minute the landscape looks entirely different. Exactly one minute, an open anchor can fill with trees. A wooded anchor can be converted to a lumber yard, or a lumber yard can be cleared to open ground. Okay, lumber. Uh, okay, so open to trees, tree to lumber yard, lumber yard to open. Okay, so yeah. The change for each acre is based entirely on the contents of the acre as well as the number of open wood lumber. So it's a game of life, but with three states, right? Adjacent means any of the eight acres surrounding this, that acre. Acres of the age of the lumber collection area might have fewer than eight adjacent acres, and missing acres aren't counted. Okay, so we count diagonals, right? Okay. An open acre will become filled to three if three or more adjacent acres contained. Otherwise, wise, nothing happens. An acre filled with three will become three or more adjacent acres. So lumber if it was adjacent to this. Okay, so there are some rules. Okay, uh, it's fine. The changes can cross all acres simultaneously, each of them using the state of August in the beginning of the minute and changing the change form by the end of that same minute. Changes can happen during okay. So it's like immutable. Yeah, I get it. Uh, when it comes to the lumber collection area is instead with this configuration, so we need uh, this as an example. Let's save this as an example. Day 18 example. Okay, cool. Cool. Uh, after one minute, after five, six, seven, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so very cool. Uh, after 10 minutes, there are 37 wooded acres and 31 lumber yards. Multiplying the number of wooded acres and lumber yards gives the total range of source value after 10 minutes. Uh, what will. Okay, so this sounds super simple, right? And. But. But. Of course, I want visualization. Of course, I want visualization. Okay. Um, I wonder where. Okay, so this is in the wrong place. This is in the wrong place. We want it in here instead. Okay, so we're doing. Uh, yeah, let's see if, uh, you can switch your leader word URL. Ah, yeah, I didn't. Okay, sorry. I <laughs> already sent this message. Okay, um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. anyway, let's start with parsing, right? So we will have to parse anyway, parse. We may be uh, going to need a map or not. Okay, yeah, let's just write, write the parse function. And it takes input and it will return like this. And uh, it will contain widths, height, and uh, array. Okay, so this is what we are aiming for. Okay, so uh, let widths 
be okay we, we have lines and lines are split lines right so width is count first lines and height is count lines okay so this is what we have um and we probably need an array which is going to be a unique array and we can use i don't know ch char type and multiple is well actually we can use a So it's going to be two-dimensional array and are there any upsides to it? I don't know. But we're going to make it immutable-ish. Okay, whatever. Uh, now what we do is we do seek or do times. Now do seek. Uh, no, we do we do do times we do do times y from um, this and x height uh, <laughs> yeah this is wrong uh, height ways and uh, we say left line is going to be like this. Um, so that uh, char at line we want to say this string uh, x okay and we do a set a get array y and this is a set in this array position x we set a character okay and finally what we do is we return this okay. and what we want to do is also set uh what is what this ground trees and lumber right ground ground is going to be this the tree is going to be it's fine right yeah so, and lumber is going to be this okay. uh, let's see no such name Two times requires exactly two forms. Okay, so this is. You can always do two seek uh, range. Okay, and let's uh, parse example. Okay, and it even does something. Um, it even does something. What does it do? A lot of stuff, right? Um, well, preferably we would like to take a look at an array, but uh, hmm. yeah, whatever. Um, we are going to need a function called neighbors. I think I wrote the one of those yesterday. No, day before. Yeah, this one. This one we will certainly need. Okay, uh, and we will need to visualization because I want to see how this thing evolves. Right. Okay, so uh, we need neighbors and we take say x y we don't care about this really uh, but we need the uh, chart and from chart we gonna need um really keys really only this and height okay 
um, is hard is hard uh, let's select this This, uh, let's remove point. Okay, so this are neighbors. Okay, and what we do now is we do visualization. I think right. So the way we usually approach it is new file. Like we built something like this, right? So we're going to be called this. Um, we don't need to import anything. Files, password. Mm -hmm. A window or chart is example. Watch chart draw pixel size because pixel size is actually this was super complicated. We don't need that. Uh, on paint is something we do need. Okay, and um, okay, so pixel size is going to be actually just. Um, so we take we call this thingy chart right um, so we have with chart and we have with these bounds right so Pixel size is basically how many um, like this, right? And actually, it's a mean between this and this. Okay. Uh, this super complicated logic we don't need it um, we what we want is translate um, with chart multiple uh, pixel size and divide by two yeah this looks correct High bounds, uh, high chart, pixel size, quarter. Okay, so this this looks correct, and we scale the pixel size basically link as drawing. Like <laughs> rectangle, right? So basically, what we want is just do this. Okay, so what we do is uh, y is in range right chart, uh, x in range with this chart. Um, so ch is going to be uh, a get. This is our character that we need to um, case character and it can be the team ground ground three all 
number and we probably is equals and depending on which one we do um, okay so uh, we need to define colors we go here to the like this right and we find palette it works for us i really like this one so maybe ground is gonna be this tree is gonna be this and we need to some colorful lumber and lumber is i don't know let's say this uh depending on what we want and we go direct um Y one long So this should be our paint method. Our paint make window. So make window should be simpler now because uh, actually this logic is now in the in the mainstream. So we it should be enough to just call on paint here. Uh, window title is very important. Uh -huh. uh, set content size, well, we will figure it out, but it's actually window set content size. I think it should work like this now. Uh, we need to change this because Humble UI has made some progress and we want to be on the latest track. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And we probably want waiting. Okay, there is lots of stuff here which we don't want okay charge parts okay yeah um this is usually go together this ones I usually don't even need So this one will probably need one day, but not every day. Okay, so what we go is we take this, we create the same, but instead we maybe I need to create a single um hmm. actually you know what? Maybe I just need a single main for stuff like this. Maybe not at all. Well, basically, it depends on which window I want to create. But you can do that from Apple, actually. Uh, main and maybe we can say something like. Say GUI and we don't need that much. We need Unreal and HUI. So it's basically like this. Mm -hmm. GUI CLJ and just GUI here. This screen. Yeah, 
slash and we are going to need Okay, we get our repo, we can connect, right, we have this, don't care about this, and what we need is basically to run, to do this, now point exception, okay, maybe this, and we get our window, okay, um, hopefully you guys can see it. I'll probably leave it like that. Um, something is not good in here. Ah, because we like on paint. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't know what the chart is. Chart is going to be chart. Okay. And we have our map. Okay, so I needed to make it. I'm not going to make it smaller. I'm going to make it this smaller. Actually, everything is going to get smaller. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So we got it, kind of right. Uh, we got what we wanted. Uh, let's say get. I let me remember. It's window get window correct. I think and it's it's like this. So what we need is window set window position window okay, I can run this and we can um, set window size thousand and a thousand okay. thousand by thousand okay. or recent content size rather. oops huh interesting um so what we want is this Right. We go back. We write. We kill this. Oops. And we do this. Okay. So we, we get the window where we want it. Map of this drone, uh, which is cool, which is cool, and it flows, right? Yes, it flows. Now, uh, what we need is basically a function called step, right? So, what we call is right function called step, it takes chart. Oh, actually, we only care about. anyways and now we basically say uh, kind of the same like this uh, so this is our new array um, line is going to be a get But we don't need that. No, we don't need that actually. Well, chart.
Okay, this is what we need, and uh, we don't care about those actually. We need neighbors. Okay, and now what we do is well, actually, we map. Take neighbors, we map them to um, with char at chart percent. Right, and we call free. Okay, now we have to implement the rows. An upper acre will become filled with trees if three or more adjacent acres contain trees, otherwise nothing happens. So open acre um, and So if it was open and frequencies or rather let's call it around because I will have hard time spelling frequencies. <laughs> so we get uh, from around we get uh face and if already trees okay uh, Three uh, around three zero, and this is bigger than three or zero. Okay, so if this is the case, um, chart. So it becomes a tree, right? The second row and just an acre field with trees will become lumber yards, zero more just in lumber yards. Okay. The same, right? But uh, with this becomes tree and this becomes lumber. And the final one is going to be an acre containing lumber yard will remain lumber yard if it was adjacent to at least one other lumber yard and at least one acre contains trees. Otherwise, it becomes open. So, this is the rule to uh, lumber. Um, what should happen? So either there is no lumber yard or there is no trees, right? Conditions it becomes open, otherwise it stays as it was. Or basically, else we just stay. Right. Okay, and yeah, and we also <laughs> yeah. Well, well, maybe we need um, to create this ahead of time. Oh, 
Okay, seems chart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, there is a okay, and uh, from here open. Yeah, because we call ground. Okay, we have this, right? So let's say we do spot chart stuff. What? Char at okay, char at char at char stuff. What? Okay, now it's better. <laughs> um, well, actually, yeah, we need uh, decrement with. Beautiful. Um, sorry, one second, please. Maybe I'll mute myself. I don't know. Okay, we are back. Um, so what was the problem again? Um, <laughs> it looks like it. Yeah, we have this, right? We had this. After the means, there's 31 multiplying the wood takers, but okay, so. So we multiply uh, wood by lumberyard. Okay. So we basically need a score. Uh, function and let's try that score char and we probably need this okay and uh, for x Right, um, char at chart xy. Um, so we take this, we take keys. Uh, oh, not actually, we say lumber. This is how much lumber we have, and we say trees, and so this is. How much trees we have, and we get frequencies from this, right? Okay, uh, this is what we have, right. and what we do is uh, zero or three zero, and we multiply. 
part. And okay, so the part one would be um, say we take input, parse it, uh, parse input, right? Then um, It's basically a score from reduce from we take parse input and we take range 10 so we get 10 iterations and chart the position we don't care and we call it chart okay and the score is what just interests us 1147 looks correct okay. and part one is why it's a so okay we get the reflection somewhere again 355918 that's the right answer but we got reflection somewhere so we get have to get rid of the reflection first second we want to see this huge map uh, beautiful animated uh, for, for real problem, right? Okay, uh, reflection. Uh, first things first. Um, Let's right? see, maybe, yeah, we get it. We get it this way. Okay, so uh, line 28, we get okay so this needs to be annotated like chars oh, it's not chars actually this is chars okay and this is kind of object Become, did it become smaller? No. So it needs to type for this. And this is like uh, array of arrays of chars. I'm not sure how to express this type in Java, in Java type system or an enclosure annotation well I actually do know um, it's going to be something like There is a notation for it, uh, but I don't remember it. So char is C, capital C, and then there is something for arrays, and I don't remember about arrays, so it's like how do arrays uh, represent it. Yeah, like this, you see, uh, so it's L, Java string, I think this is object, and I think opening bracket is, um, means array, so it's basically like this, but I don't know, it's not valid closure syntax. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, uh, we can make it easier on ourselves by making it this way, right? Um, a set, so we don't a set multiple of plus multiply by this x y, let's see. 
on the array array what is this okay so we change it here we change it um, here plus multiple with chart x oh, sorry y x okay and the same goes to here and this index plus set okay uh, let's see how many reflections we have now line 50 hmm. maybe this is a function called child Okay, we get, uh, or you see, like this is a char array. Uh, but I don't know how to say it in closure. Like, I know that J9 type would be that, but I don't know how, how to specify it in closure. And we need to fix, actually, here we need to fix um, this. And this is pretty good, I think. Day 18 char add. Chart x y I think. Okay. Uh, we reload, we create window. We, okay. Yeah, um hmm. so this one should be new one, right? Oh, somehow step stopped working. Yeah, because yeah, 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 yeah okay. Uh, multiple height. Okay, so this, this is stop working. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, it seems to work. All right. And um, let's see our answer. Eleven forty-seven. Yeah, now it works fast, right? So yeah, without reflection, it all works fast. Uh, what we want is we want actually okay. This is a real problem, and what we are going to do is the times ten uh, ten swap chart. This is cool. This is cool. Let's let's do a uh, hundred. Wow. Yeah, that's why I'm solving those tasks because of stuff like this. This is fucking beautiful. Right? Come on. This let's let's watch some more. Isn't it beautiful? It is beautiful, and there is nothing beyond this. Like it's all—all all this is hap happens strictly inside this square. Come on! Wow. I think there is a loop, right? It's, uh, it repeats itself, kind of. There is some structure at the bottom corner that like spins around, and. I, I just realized I'm not looking at chat. Uh, be ready to increase the number of days. Yeah, of course. Uh, okay, part two. Part two. Let's see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, this important natural resource will need to last for at least thousands of years. Uh, else, collecting this lumber sustainably. What will total resource value lumber? Okay, okay, so this is what, what we want to do. And basically, it's the same, but like this. The number is bigger. Okay, so 
good news is we don't have to write a new program bad news is it doesn't work okay so but we know we know there is a loop in there right so we can use this actually no well if there is a loop so you have to find the loop i think otherwise i don't see why it's so slow unless we don't have a uh, reflection again somewhere but we shouldn't no it doesn't look like we have <sighs> okay so now it becomes tricky right we know there is a loop so we like we run this for a thousand eventually it starts repeating itself but not yet not yet not yet like now it repeats itself so this is a loop we want to find somehow somehow huh. we can put all these arrays into hash map so it's, uh, the loop is under 1000 somewhere right and Okay, but this is uh, this is just interesting, right? Because this is interesting. Okay, so part two is much much trickier. Um, hash code. So we need to calculate hash code of an array. Um, How, but I think we can. So the size is fifty by fifty, right? So it's two fifty, and we have three values per each one. So it's like seven fifty. Like it's fifty by four, so it's ten thousand divided by eight. I don't know. Hash map, hash map, hash map. Okay, okay, but uh, let's say loop is. Uh, chart is going to be five simple, right? Scene is going to be this. Um, oh no, sorry, this. Fuck. So the problem is, I don't, uh, we, we will not get a correct hash code out of this because array doesn't have hash code in closure okay uh, what we can do instead is just make it like this okay we are going away from array we only need a thousand iterations or less, so we don't care. So we say array is for y x this, uh, but a kind of okay. Um, yeah. 
this and we save it. Okay, this is our parse. Um, do we do so char add becomes actually and array char and this okay so and array char this uh, so set char add wouldn't really work that well so we probably will get rid of it and what we're going to do uh, here actually we're not creating a chart we don't need this but we will do four oh actually it's uh, it's kind of the same but So this is uh, instead of set, this ground and power okay. And the upside of this is this will get us correct hash code so we can store it in the hash map. And this is much better. Okay. Let's do this. We don't this okay whatever um control b recreate window set the problem okay it seems to work fine right so it's okay Wish. okay it's okay actually it's, it's also beautiful now let's let, let it run um so, and we need to know step. Uh, so we're going to have, yeah, step is easier, right? Mm -hmm. Step for chart. If some step. Start uh, seeing chart. Oh, actually, seeing chart. We return. I will start. Otherwise, we record. There are tons of uh, of by one errors, but let's see. Mm -hmm. Long can be cast. Okay.
Okay, so it works. So, and we know there is a loop between 506 and 534. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. And next thing what we want is We want to return all this, okay, so... We also need uh, like chart step and step chart. Oh, it's called charts. Okay. Charts is going to be. So what we do is we return charts, this is okay. Uh, soak scene chart step and so uh, sorry, a soak steps chart e and a soak charts e chart. Okay, now this is what we want, uh, kind of. I am kind of worried about uh, off by one errors, but we'll figure it out. Scene uh, step chart. Yeah, visualization is hard, but uh, yeah. Okay, so let's see. Um, let's say a loop starts at zero. So it's like L, K, L, M, M. Okay, again, so then this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, and this is four, right? So let's, let's say loops, like what I want is to understand that these two arrays have like correct stuff, right? And now, right now, we will never store our original um, chart. Oh, like, like, let's say each one is just a repeat of each other. So it's k and k, right? So loop starts at zero and ends at one, kind of. So yeah. Um, so we probably want chart 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 zero zero chart right like this. Does it work? Yeah, it kind of works. 
and n is going to be 1. So we calculate next. Uh, we see if we already have that next. We do. And in this case, we return 0, 1, and charts with just 0, right? Okay, so slightly more case like this. So if we have case like this, we start with this, right? This uh, fails, so we put um, L under 1. Yeah, I think now it, it kind of works. Okay, and what we do is Oh my God. Okay, okay, yeah, we're getting there, we're getting there, we're getting there. Um, now what we do is, mm -hmm, probably don't want to end this lab. Okay. Um, we say um, mod e is going to be mod of our target number and target number is this right uh, by minus and start right and we'll basically what we return is core of charts of plus e start kind of weird, I think. Yes. Okay, uh, there is either off by one error or there is no. Two, one, one, or one. Okay. It's not the right. Answer is too high. Okay. Two, one, one, zero, fit. Um, hmm. So when we say after one minute, it means one iteration, right? Uh, this is even more. Okay, we can try this later. Um, no, you know, you know what? No, this is wrong. This is wrong. Uh, we actually need uh, minus start. Yeah, this is this is our problem actually. Yeah, this looks much more. But we won't be able to check it right now, right? Oh, no, we, we could. Yeah, ah, yay! <laughs> we did it. Um, cool, cool, cool. Well, yeah, it's, it's a cool task, I think. Oh, okay, and, and yeah, it, it's year 2018, that's why it's, it's not that easy. <laughs> um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, I don't know what about you, but I would like to see this animated. And another thing that I want to do probably is just to build random, um, let's see, okay, so let's say chart is with 50, high. 50 and array uh, is going to be repeat, uh, repeat badly. Um, 
2000 round pens day 18 ground day 18 tree and day 18 lumber right okay something didn't work out yeah this was supposed to be this Okay, so this generates or generates a random map. Let's see how. Okay, that's that's very interesting. Okay, let's. Uh, okay. <gasps> and this is. This is some magic. <laughs> okay, so that's not interesting. kind of interesting kind of the same we can actually experiment by like adjusting rates like what we want to see more oh, this is beautiful okay Say we want to see more, more what, more ground? Okay, so this will have more ground. Yeah, it looks like twice the ground is actually way to go. I can just uh, click here. Okay, what if we make three grounds? Four grounds. Okay, what if we make lots of trees? Ah, we die. Almost instantly. Lots of lumber. Nothing really happens. No, it dies. So lumber, like, just dies. Okay. So, yeah, we need, trees need lots of Like uh, right now, it, it all grows with um, everything becomes trees and then lumber starts removing it. Okay, this is so cool. Uh, we actually can do, just do, you see, we can do maybe a loop. Record here. Right. I hope we can. Uh, I'm just worried, like, will you, will you be able, yeah, so this goes infinitely and we just reset the map and see what, what happens. There's some delay, I don't know what the delay is, but, yeah. Oh, probably delay is because we need to print it, I don't know. <sighs> so cool, so cool. What if we place no lumber at all? Okay. <laughs> and no tree at all. Okay. So and no ground at all. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, this guy broke the singing. Oh my god. Boom, boom. So this thingy, uh, this thing's two, two spirals like cancel each other. This is fucking beautiful. This is the coolest task ever. And I'm so happy we built visualization for it. Oh, but it's like so cool. Wow. Eh, boring. Eh, kind of boring. Uh, boring. Boring. Entertain me. I want to be entertained. I kind of, yes. This. Boof, boof, boof. Yeah, this was something non trivial. Trivial. There are two spirals which like go off in a very interesting pattern. So, another interesting thing is like, let's cancel. Uh, that when it goes uh, 
I will not entertain it yet. And when it goes out, it uses like this uh, two to the two horizontal and one vertical, or two vertical, one horizontal, like two to one step, not one to one step, but two to one step, right? And this, this is very interesting. So basically, you don't have rectangles, you have um, oct octagons, right? Eight sides, which is pretty cool, I would say. Uh, we can make bigger maps, so right? Can we make no five hundred? This okay. Let's make hundred by hundred, right? Um, like this, and let's see where it gets us. For some reason, not nowhere. For some reason, like I don't, I'm not sure why this first step slow. And then it starts running on the like, huh? Yeah, I don't know. Fuck. How cool is that? Come on. How cool is that? I, let me record this part of the screen while we have it. Um. I also like how um, well you see here the two spirals collide, right? And there is like slight imperfection in here when they merge. Like it's uh, it's actually uh, diagonal one by one, right? Uh, what I'm saying, it's and then they cancel each other. Kind of so cool. Uh, I'm sure there is um, some. Um, some mathematical theory or like about this automatus somewhere there must be right yeah this is not interesting okay yeah but the basic idea is you get the spirals and let's increase ground amount of grounds ground we start with Let's see maybe we'll get more interesting results i would say it's slightly more interesting yes <laughs> oh my god yeah i i'm going to record this one as well sorry uh it's too late fuck but it's beautiful now i i didn't realize they actually were Evolving, I thought it already was a loop, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Gorgeous. Okay, uh, that would be it, I would say. Uh, let's check. We still get our numbers printed correctly. I didn't bump, or did I? Cool, 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 cool. Um, yeah, I am super happy, super excited. Uh, it was a great task, in my opinion. And let's just commit it and, and that will be the end of the stream. Dating, 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 dating. Okay, so. Uh, GUI, GUI, dating. Okay. 
Yeah, so it's here, writing, dating, okay. Boom. Just like that. Um, it's pretty. And my leaderboard. Where personal stats. Wait, what? What are those numbers? I was trying to solve it the same day. Okay, okay. Let's try to get here. Yeah, this is not fair. I think you should be count these times from the moment when you click. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, that will be it. Um, bye bye.